Okay, guys, I have been dying to get started on this project, so I'm hoping I have it all planned out in my head. Don't you get, does anybody else get nervous when they do that? They plan it all out in their head, and they're like, ah, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to come out the way I want it to. So I'm hoping, let me grab my water here, let me move this out of the way so I don't spill it, because I've met me. Oh, now I'm just throwing stuff. Okay. Grab that over there. I'm really, really hoping this is going to come out the way I have it planned in my head. So I'm going to start with some chalk paint. And this one's Waverly, which I got at Walmart. And it's called Peacock. And I'm just going to paint the whole thing in blue. I'm going to do a beach type thing. I hope it all works out the way I want it to. Probably going to have to do two or three coats on this. Possibly just the two. Now this wood piece that I have that I'm painting on was actually one half of a Lazy Susan. Um, we used the other half for hubby's work. They were doing like a prize wheel type thing, so I painted a prize wheel for his work. Which they are still using, so that's cool. And then we didn't know what we were going to do with this other piece, and he's like, do you want it or do you just want me to toss it? I'm like, no, no, no. I'll figure out a way to use it. And now I, I think I figured out my way that I'm going to use it. I just really, really hope it comes out the way I have it planned. And now I can see these little bubbles in here. Make sure all that's painted up. I don't know how I'm going to hang this. I haven't gotten that far because I want it to hang like a plaque on our wall. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but maybe if I take a little eye hook or something and drill it in the top, maybe I can hang it up that way. I don't know. My thought process only went so far. Even this out just a little bit. Make sure it's really good. Put only one layer of paint. And let me go ahead and dry this. Sorry if it's loud. Thing, chalk paint dries super fast, it does not take long at all. Try to get my sides here. second coat there. And I don't 
like dipping into this because I for some reason can't tell where the paint ends and or where my paintbrush ends and the paint begins. So I'd much rather just grab it from my lid here. And you know, again, recording in the daytime and for some reason this room either just does not get a lot of sun in this corner that I'm in or my lighting just doesn't like me. I'm going to go with option B. Because I recorded in the daytime quite a few times now and I've been very, very proud of myself. I'm starting to think that my night videos have better lighting. But it's been really... The weather in Arizona, to me, is very weird and wonky. So like right now we're going through what they call a monsoon season. So like one minute it's raining so hard you can't see the car in front of you. And then literally five minutes later it's sunny and muggy because it just rained. And you feel like you're going to have an asthma attack because you can't breathe. When it only rained for all of five minutes. Which totally stinks. So, and I had, I was diagnosed with asthma as a kid, like in my teenage years, and I would have to bring an inhaler with me, and, you know, doctor told my parents, you know, she really needs to live in a dry state, where there's not a lot of humidity, because the humidity is what kicks up my asthma. So, 95% of the year I'm fine, except for this time of the year, which, who knows when it's actually going to end. Because I was informed that monsoon season started in like June, but we haven't had any real rain until now, and it's August. So, I don't know. So, we don't get this kind of weather in Vegas. So, it's very odd to me. Like, it rains out in Vegas, don't get me wrong, but not to the point where you can't see the person in front of you. Well, from what I understand, like, two years ago, the strip flooded at some point. Which is another very odd thing to me, because that, like, never happens. I have a feeling I should be wearing an apron. little spot just doesn't look like it wants to cooperate okay and I think I got everything there in the middle so I'm gonna start here on the sides cannot believe today is Friday already and this marks the third week that my kids have been in school. Third week? They've been in school almost a whole month already. It's so weird to me. <laughs> like they're just now doing like all the back to school promotions and everything else because most kids are just now going back to school. My kids have already been in for almost a whole month. Sorry about I've been doing it. I'm not gonna lie. Got my quiet time. Well, kind of. When my mom, when when my mom, when my kids are in school, that's when we do most of our doctor appointments and all that stuff. So that way, my poor children don't have to wait in the lobby while I'm interpreting for my mother and her doctors and all that fun stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna dry this off again. And it's coming up very dark blue on my screen, but it's actually like a, almost a teal-y, teal type color, aqua teal maybe. I'm 
I have to make sure this is completely dry because I'm going to do um, Mod Podge and all that fun stuff with my napkins and It's very odd how it's coming up that color blue. It's really nice. Okay, good. Yay. So I didn't take too long at all. Yeah, it's so very odd that it's coming up that color blue. That's coming up dark. It's more of a... See how that lighter blue is? That's more of what it looks like. I don't know why it's coming up so dark. Whoops, and I can't leave this brush in here for long because it is already chipped and broken and That other fun stuff. I'm dipping my water in here and I'm thinking of Marissa from Ma'am 1016 because we just went through a whole conversation about how we just leave our brushes in the water. She bought a really cool silicone brush and I want to know if it works. Your paint should just like roll off of it, right? I hope because I would like to invest in one. Okay. So there's that. I'll leave that there. And then, yeah, that's so weird to me how it's coming up that color blue. It's totally not that color blue. And that doesn't help at all. Not even a little bit. But it's coming up a darker blue like this, which is what it looks like here, when it's actually more like this. This lighter greenish blue right here. That's so funny. Anyways, moving on. Um kind of wanted to punch out. Oh, is it still wet somewhere? No? Alright, I'll just scrape that off later. I, oh geez. Really? It's gonna be one of those days, is it? Come on, little buddy. Oh no. No! <laughs> Release it. I need the paint. Oh, there we go. That was a little scary. I don't have anybody here with muscles to undo my lids. Puppies at work. And it's just me crafting. I'm throwing pictures all over the place and throwing paint everywhere. It's fantastic. Okay. So I got this a Tuesday morning a while ago. Actually, it was, I think it was earlier this week. And I just want it to be able to make. Like, well, without the hair in there. Little, I don't know, like clouds maybe ish. So it was very cloudy the day we went. Actually, that's quite a bit of paint. I didn't want that much paint on there, and I just got some on my arm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Is, is there any other way, really, honestly? This feels like it's crooked, but that's okay. It's a dollar forty-nine or something like that. And I 
just kind of want to do this V pattern right here. And just make it look really, really foggy type. Because the day we went, it was so foggy. there. I want it to feel very beachy themed, so that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, there's that and that. that away. Alright, works for me. That can go over there. That can go over there. And this guy, I want to tear. If I remember correctly, I think I got this napkin from the wonderful Miss Becky, Aunt Beck's Creations. And I have been saving this napkin for a very, very long time. Along with the shell one, because I wasn't sure how I wanted them how I wanted to use them. And when we took these pictures, I immediately, as I was taking the pictures, going, oh, I have those napkins at home. I know what I'm doing with them now. So I want this guy to go kind of right here. Kind of make it even. Peel off my back layer here. Nice and easy-ish, maybe. Sticking in the middle like it doesn't want to come off. Release it. Release it. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And let me just. Sometimes you have one layer, sometimes you have two. You just get your finger a little wet. If there's two, they'll pull apart. I'm guessing. I only have that one layer, which is fantastic. Alright, so I'm going to stick this one here. I guess that's my game plan. Okay, and I don't want glossy. What do I want? Hmm, this would have probably been good to figure out before I said no. Ow, that's my head. Let's do matte, and let me grab another sponge brush. I bought a ton of those on Black Friday a couple years ago, and I still yet to run out, so that's awesome. Ooh, that sounds either very watery or very low. So I'm very much in the no, and it's very watery. Is this still gonna stick? Hmm, I guess only one way to find out, right? Worse comes to worse, I gotta fix it. There are a lot of little floppies in here. Which I'll use this for. That's fine. So I'll do a little bit at a time. I think this is one of the ones that I found at Goodwill, so I don't even know how old this bottle is. And I just want to stick that straight down. Pop that in a little bit. And I'm not worried about the wrinkles or anything like that. I already know that that's going to happen just because of the shape that I'm doing. So that's fine. I'm thinking because it's so watery, it might soak through the actual napkin itself, but I may not. Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen Mod Podge this watery before. Not that I'm an expert on Mod Podge or anything, but.
looks like really watery. That's very bizarre to me. Scroll down here. That looks pretty good so far. That's going to stay down pretty well. One can only help, right? So that I can see where my acne is. And I know where to add the Mod Podge. Again, I'm just going to do little bits at a time. I don't want to rush it. I usually do. I usually end up just slamming it all on there and not being patient for anything. Tons and tons of wrinkles, which is okay. I kind of like it. It kind of gives a definition to the little sunset that's happening on the napkin. I'm really hoping that this napkin doesn't come up when it dries because I have tons of plans to go on top of this napkin, like my photo, for example. It smells like glue, looks like water. That's the best way I can describe it. A very milky water. Again, I've never seen Mod Podge do that, so I'm really hoping that I'm going to be okay here. Uh-oh. Really? Hmm. I love unknown numbers. I don't answer them, ever. Does anybody else do that? Do you answer all of your phone calls, or do you only answer the numbers that you recognize? This is the question. I don't answer numbers I don't know. Unless they call me over and over and over and over and over again, like back to back. Usually it's one of my children. So that's like their cue of letting me know that, hey, I know it's an unknown number, but it's me anyway, pick up the phone. So my kids all know that. I don't know. I don't answer unknown numbers, and there's the voicemail for it, so I'll listen to that later. I have a feeling that was my mom's eye doctor. Just a feeling, because we just saw them yesterday, or two days ago, and I know she needs a refill on one of her scripts. That number did look vaguely familiar, like I call it before, but I'm not sure why or when. So, anyhow, that's fine. Oh, I rubbed the napkin a little bit. That's okay. I'll cover that up. Nobody will know except for you who are watching. Okay. I'm really concerned. Man, that makes me like bleh, smell of that stuff. Okay. So there's that. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this, but I am going to use this. And I'm very excited about it. So I don't know how I'm going to use it. Should I wait for the Mod Podge to dry for it? Well, I mean, it's not actually going to dry. It takes, like, forever. But I think I want to 
dry it up just a little bit when I move that so it doesn't wrinkle my bag over there. Make it a little drier. I actually kind of like the wrinkles in the palm trees here because it gives the leaves a lot of texture. That's actually really cool. I'm really happy with how that came out. It's a little tacky. A little tacky. Not bad. I think it's going to hold though, so that's the most important part, is that it's not going anywhere, even though my glue's all, oh, bubble, bubble, don't do it. It's not got enough glue under that spot right there, but that's okay. It's going to get covered up with sand, or at least that's the plan. You sit right there, actually turn around so I don't burn myself on accident. And I will do more. Not that door. Oh yes. Now. I wonder, I have these, these itty bitty little bottles of glue and seal a matte finish. I wonder if I can use that. Oh boy. Okay. And then maybe some of those. I don't want any crackle. This I don't think they do. Okay, this one's gloss finish, which I don't want that. so many different ones that I don't know how to use them all. Okay, you know what? We're going to try this guy and see if it works. And I'm hoping, just hoping, we're not going to have any issues. I'm just going to very, I have a feeling that little wood thing is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be in the lid. There we go. I'm just going to do a light coat and see where we stand on that. I just hope it doesn't stick to any of the Mod Podge. If that makes sense. Don't want any... I don't want the sand everywhere. I just want it on the bottom here. I'm hoping it's only going to stick to where I put the glue. Never done this before, so we'll find out together, shall we? And if it works out, yay. And if not, I have a backup plan. <laughs> Always a plan B. Because I screw up a lot. Not intentionally. But learning process. I have a learning curve. Okay, so now I'm going to take... I'm actually going to take one of these shells and just scoop that right on there. And take off the bigger shell and smooth this around a little bit. Because I don't have a spoon or anything for it. So, this is actual sand that we collected from the beach. All the way there. I have a feeling I should have just mixed it in with my glue and then stuck my glue down now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. Wondering if that would have been a smarter choice. Just 
just a thought because I want to glue some of these shells down too. These would be cute little shells that my kids collected while we were at the beach. I have a spray fixative, but maybe I can spray that on the top. Uh, before I do this next part, let me grab. Hmm. You know what? Let me use my craft mat. Oh, I can use. Whoa! Dropping stuff. Dropping stuff. I can just roll this up and you toss whatever I lose into my garbage can. I'm not going to use all of the sand, obviously, but I have more than enough to play with. I don't want these little shells in there. No. I'm really hoping this is the way it's going to work the way I have it set in my head. So far, my game plan is working, and it's coming together the way I want it to, so far. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to let this sit and dry. I'm not going to be able to blow dry this because I want sand everywhere. And I'm not on the beach, so I can actually contain the sand for now. You know, when you're on the beach, that stuff gets everywhere. There, there's just no questioning it. It's going everywhere. I'm glad I have this cute little shell as a scooper. It's working beautifully. Okay. I'm wondering if I didn't put enough glue down too. So I put a light layer on when I should have just globbed it on with like a, a whatchamacallit, that thing. You guys know what I'm saying. That one thing with the thing on the end, it's like a spatula. Is it a spatula? Is that the word I'm looking for? Okay, I'm going to let this sit and hang out for a little bit. And I'll be back and we'll tip it and see how much of it actually stays. That is where we're at so far and I am actually really excited about that. That looks so cool! And it's real sand from the beach! Yay! Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to let it dry for a while. So hopefully I'll be back sometime. Yeah, I should be able to be back today before my kids come home. And we can play with it a little bit more and see how far we can get. Ah, I love it. Yay. It's, it's nice when you have a plan in mind. And when you put it out, it actually works. I'm getting better at this. I'm improving. I'm very, very excited. I'm very proud because it shows my growth. And it shows that I am not doing crazy inventive things with my brain that my fingers cannot cooperate to create. Okay, so again, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to let this dry for a while and see how it goes, and then I'll pick it up and dump all the extra and then kind of figure out where we're going from there. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.